And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Things are like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Daddy, stay safe. Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, Vontale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm my Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing shit, I'm yelling out like the scream house. I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Things feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, daddy, stay sweet. One of the Barbies is pretty damn. One of the Barbies is bad. It comes to the girls. Guys, so I have to address you guys in these states because I forgot to vlog. I just picked up my camera. This is Martha in the background. Say hi. Okay. So this might be the last time that you see Mata on my vlog because we are going to Abuja. I'm not going to talk to Mata for life. I'm going to just depart, like go different ways. So you guys, I know, let me point out the obvious. I'm getting my hair installed. As the title of this video says, it's the preparation for my induction, for my graduation. You see, we are not going small. We are not going small, we are playing big, very big. So I'm at Sparkles Beauty in absolute, if you, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. And I'm going to get his hair installed. So, you guys, can't wait for the final. Mm -hmm. Red, but he's me when I get back. I'm in LA, but I'm to I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like the scream house. If you're yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. We're not big for Robbie, we pillin' out. So take, bring the vibe, billin' out. Barbie, bitch, if you're still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Hi, and feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Gabby, Stacy, you keep up. All of the Barbies is pretty damn. All of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we be playing tag. We ain't got no clue about you wanna play in the playhouse. Yeah. What they gonna say? Hi, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Today is Sunday. The last time you guys saw me was on Friday when I was vlogging my preparations for my induction shoots. <laughs> so to do my shoots yesterday. The devil said no. But God said, you know make my child sad because it was a whole lot. It was a roller coaster, guys. A big roller coaster. My shoot was supposed to be for yesterday. The person bringing my gown as my outfit for the day did not come on Friday. So the person told me I'll come on Saturday morning. Saturday morning came and the person is saying that they are saying an umbrella that the car broke down. Okay, you are in an umbrella. I've heard you, sir. Send me the driver's number so that I can just have the driver with beauty clothes because I need that shoot for tomorrow. He said, no, they don't send driver's number. That before 12 that I'll do be there. Guys, those people came by 8 p.m. After 8 in the night, 8 p.m. And to make it, <laughs> and to make my day, yeah, my period came too. So, you know when you're frustrated, now you want to cry. There are things to cry about. I can cry about my period. I can cry about the fact that I cannot do my shoot. There was just a whole lot of things going on. And it was painful because I've actually installed my hair for the shoot. I would have just easily cancelled, but I could not cancel because I've installed my hair for the shoot. I would have just gone to Abuja and do it. But I've installed my hair, I've paid the makeup artist. I don't think I can get a refund. So I'm thinking I'll just do a shoot here. Then if it doesn't look nice, I'll still do another one in Abuja. It's not like this excess money, but we got to do what we got to do. I know if I get that shoot out of the way, that's one thing. Guys, I am tired. I am stressed. But the photo shoot vlog is continuing tomorrow. And I know I did not give a proper intro for this vlog, which I apologize. I think I was at the salon when I started this vlog. So I apologize. 
you guys have been with me even if i've not been consistent on youtube and i said every week now i must post i want to do a vlogmas every day but i am still in Absu and it's not favorable i have a lot of things i want to shoot but i cannot shoot it here the lightning is not good the network is not good the this thing background for youtube is not here i've not been enough equipment i can't do anything here and it's frustrating me i'm frustrated but by God's grace, by Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, one of these three days next week, I am out of here. So, it's Saturday. So, I have a few days and then I'm out of here. It's Sunday. So, what do I have to do? I want to see if I can edit. I was procrastinating yesterday and I ended up not editing because I'm supposed to upload a video today. I want to see if I will edit and upload my video this, that this night or tomorrow morning. And then I'm supposed to join service by 10.30. I'm supposed to get painkillers because my cramps are bad. Like why I'm turning like this and zoozing? Because I don't if I stand one place to kill me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it will wound me like it will. <laughs> so my cramps are really bad. They are really, really, really bad. So I need to get drugs for that. I initially wanted to cook yesterday. Like I wanted to cook today. But I don't think that was going to happen because I'm not well. So, yeah, so we thank God for every single thing, guys. Please stay to the end of this vlog. I've talked so much. Four minutes. Ah, guys, see you later. Oh, you guys, this quick update. I don't know if you can hear me properly. The way to the salon. I could not make a video inside, so I have to make it outside on my way to the salon. No salon. I'm on my way to get my makeup done for my shoot. So I have to get everywhere beat and everywhere nice. This hair has been on my hair for two days. I hope it comes out well. And I am late, so I have to I have to rush out. So guys, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys when I get to the makeup artist. Here we are. <laughs> Still in a moment or two to unwind Between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying Do you hear your mind? I see a lot going on I hear it in all of your songs Niggas been doing you wrong Family been doing you wrong All days you feeling like you on your own I wrote this for you to put on Thank you for sharing your light, your voice And writing a beautiful poem it's an attitude that comes with team makeup, like Now I hear it, seem like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids And I don't know what it is, that made me so sensitive More than I already was, but never mind that, I'm back I'm sending you this little audio hug And hope that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up, it's just like a drug and people I should be like this boy, no we're not playing. Sparkle is not playing. She's not. Oh my god. Just look at beauty. Look. Oh god. See, if you don't book Sparkle, so you book a big. There's no one else. See skin. I thought that I'm still dark. I'm not gonna change color. She's having the melanin. You know I'm telling you. On the radar 2023. Yeah. Hey. I'm on his side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces to the best can't see those eyes. People I shouldn't be beside. When I was a hacker, they were those trappers just to sell food on the other side. You guys, we are just leaving the apartment right now. Mata has been in since morning. 
Ah, the cutest one I've ever seen. My head is tired. Like I am tired, tired, tired. So, bye, guys. Cause I walk around with the bank on him. Show them Gangnam Style, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah. Nobody know tomorrow. Choro ka choro. And if a boy feel my. So guys, I didn't get the opportunity to finish up this video, but I had to show you guys. I traveled to Abuja the next day and I dived straight into work. I went for a traditional marriage ceremony the next day. We were handling all the traditional dishes for that day. The traditional marriage ceremony was a blast, you guys. I mean, 10 over 10. They stuck to the tradition, even if they were doing it in Abuja. Overall, I love the ceremony. It was giving every single thing. It, it was so hectic that we finished up so so late you guys went back home so late and guess what the next day we had another event but this one was a wedding ceremony and i was going to two places actually i was going to supervise two different events i went to the first event and we did the catering of this event and guys i loved the decoration of this event like i am so obsessed like i am going into event planning in abuja and i am so excited about that journey because the way i love events and guys this was the second event event so just a small gathering for um a party i think it was an opening party or anniversary party and after that we headed home the next day we had an event and guess what you guys i was the one that was planning this event i planned this event start to finish i was so excited guys i shared it on tiktok so if you are not following me on tiktok better go up and follow me on tiktok so because of my planner i do not plan to look all crusty i had to stop by the salon and did some touch up on my hair i also was with my clients because she was doing her hair after that i headed over to the event center and started arranging and making sure that the decoration is all put together you guys i am so obsessed with this new job because i love seeing people happy and celebrating we finished up that very late and the next day i had to go boutique shopping like you guys know um i will soon be working so i needed some work clothes and that was that the next day again we had another event and this was a birthday um stroke anniversary it was a really really classy event and i was, I was so excited to work here this finally was the last day and we did the end of the year party for Zenith Bank. You guys, I'm so thankful that you guys watched up to this moment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.